everybody. Today is going to be a different lookbook. I'm coming in for three different days and just going through a quick review of each of the wrap dresses. And at the end, I will give you my overall review. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody, I am coming in today with day one. This is the Samantha Smiley dress, the Smiley uh, Samantha wrap dress, I should say. And absolutely love this version. As you can tell by the video, I'll have that plain here. It fits absolutely beautiful. The only changes I made to this version compared to the very first version I did was that I dropped the waist by two inches which meant I cut out the shorter skirt. So once I dropped the waist by two inches, that dropped the skirt down an additional two inches, but it hits perfectly um, where my knees are. And I also, I cut out a top 24, a bottom 28. And I think I said in my previous video, the um, Samantha wrap dress doesn't go over all the way. Remember, this is a faux wrap. So it only wraps at the top and then it's the skirt attached at the bottom. So I knew I will always have to wear a tank underneath, which I'm perfectly fine with. And I love the way it turned out. Everything looks beautiful. And yeah, I have no other updates. This is absolutely the easiest of the three wrap dresses I've sewn that you'll see in the next couple clips. But absolutely love it. Took me two hours to sew. I surged all the finishes. Um, as you probably can't see, but I did do a stretch stitch and I surged and turned under the, all the hems, everything I top stitched, you can't see around the neckline and everything, love the collar. And so yeah, absolutely love it. So this is day one of my Sew Together for Summer. I am literally wrapping up my Me Made May with all of my wrap dresses for the rest of the month. Today is May 29th, Tuesday. Stay tuned tomorrow for my second wrap dress and Hello, review. Hello everybody, this is day two, May 30th. I am wrapping up literally my week with Me Made May of wrap dresses. And this is all for the um, entries for the Sew Together for Summer. Today is the Pattern Reviews Claire wrap dress. But before I get into it, okay, a little corny but i will not have a proper haul video um i did buy things but it was specifically fabrics for my anniversary collection but let me just show you what did come in the mail uh this month in may um if you all follow karina um with lifting pins and needles my good girlfriend hey karina uh i received um bias binding satin bias binding if you guys follow her <clears throat> you know that she uh, relocated from Boliv Bolivia. She was leaving Bolivia to go back home to Chile before she relocated to where she is now in Brazil. And so I had asked her, Karina, can you buy me some of those <laughs> satin bias binding? And she did. I have five. Look at that. And it's so much on here. Karina can put in the um, comments because I can't read this. It's in the, yeah. I don't know. So maybe it says it on there. Somebody can pick it up and know how many yards is on here. But this will last forever. I have white, navy, blue. I have black. This fuchsia. No, it's like a purplish pink. Very pretty. And red. Yay. So, so excited. So excited. It was a little issue with the mail getting here because she shipped it from Chile here to me um in texas and so but it eventually got to me i'm so excited thank you thank you thank you karina okay now into the review for the claire wrap dress and you guys i am like just as you can see a little wet <laughs> it looks like because yes it is hot outside and i just came in after taking pictures and everything so the pattern review claire wrap let me just tell you this was the most complicated um, wrap dress I have sewn to date and the most complicated out of the three I'll be showing you in this video <clears throat> and it's just because of all the different pieces it's a lot of pieces um, and plus it has the back yoke in here and I think for the most part that might be the most complicated the other thing that was a little complicated to me because there are so many um, pieces <clears throat> the instructions give because you have different options for the dress i did um view b and so 
you have the option to do a full tie waist um, and the instruction everything is together view a view b uh side waist tie waist full tie waist is all in the same instructions so for me it was a little you know complicated i will say pattern review does have a sew along available on the pattern review website <clears throat> And I think you may have to be a member to get to this all along, but I'm not 100%. You may not have to be. But um, um, it, I didn't follow this all along at all. I just knew it was there. So if I did need to refer to anything, I will go back to it. And I didn't. Not even for the yoke piece. <clears throat> so first, let me start with what, what size I cut. I cut a bust 22 and my waist and hip 26. And um, let's see here. And for there were a lot of smaller pieces or narrow pieces like the waist ties. And sorry, this here is moving because I have this kind of propped up a little funny. Um, the yoke pieces, the collar, neck band, I cut all those with the ro rotary cutter, which made it so much easier when handling this fabric because this is the ITY is pretty sl a slippery ITY. Um, I did play Tetris with the <laughs> with my interface, and I thought I needed interfacing for a couple of the wrap dresses, and so I thought I had enough, and so I ended up having to play a little Tetris there. Um, there was I was confused with wording that said because um, I knew the pattern required interfacing, but some of the pattern pieces were marked interlining and underlining, and I was like, whoa. Do I need interfacing or don't I? Because <laughs> interfacing, underlining, and interlining are three different things. And so I had to go through the instructions a few times to make sure that, okay, what am I doing here? And it turned out the pieces all needed to just be interfaced. So I'm not quite sure why there's interlining, underlining, and, well, interfacing wasn't marked on anything, but you knew once you started sewing the instructions did say fuse the interfacing to the fabric pieces so then you just kind of had to know and maybe that's another reason why I would say it's not necessarily be it's not beginner friendly at all I wouldn't say um your first wrap dress I wouldn't do this <laughs> maybe after you've done a few and then you'll just kind of know um um uh, also with the instructions, I was a little confused where it said faux wrap and true wrap. Now the thing is, again, all the instructions are together. So when you have patterns like this that A, have a lot of pieces, then you have, you might have some confusion by the reader that's, okay, what is this for the faux wrap? And there are some indications that say, if you're doing this, then do this. Me personally, this is just my personal. Um, I prefer to see instructions separated, um, even if it's if you're doing um, full wrap, start here. If you're doing this section for the wrap, or or not, then skip to step. That's the type of thing I'd rather see, and not everything kind of blended together because I was confused on certain parts. Um, and so let's see here. So I did shock myself with the burrito method. Now the thing is with the burrito method, I've seen plenty of videos here on YouTube. A lot of people I follow show how to do the burrito method. Um, it was shown even on the instructions didn't tell you that's what the method was called. It just told you to, <laughs> to kind of sew the pieces together. But if you didn't know, it said do a clean finish. But if you didn't know what that meant, again, that's why I said this is not beginner friendly. But I knew it was the burrito method because A, I looked at the sew along and then B, that's what I just kind of figured inherently having sewed now for a while um, that that's what that was. So, but no matter how many videos I've seen, how many, you know, examples people show me, I just can't wrap my mind around it if I'm trying to follow doing it. So I just said to myself, well, if I'm eating a burrito, what am I doing? I'm putting everything inside of it and... At some point, I have to turn this thing inside out. So that's essentially what I did. I just went for it and just 
stuffed everything <laughs> in between the two pieces, sewed it up because I figured, you know what, if it don't work, I can always unpick it and sewed it up, turned it right side out. And I was like, oh, this is what the burrito method looks like. All nice, clean and pretty. So very nice. Um, I did not do the pockets. I did cut the pockets out for this, but I did not do the pockets because the way the this fabric is thin, it's a ITY. Um, and remember, these fabrics aren't available anymore. Um, this was during the Fabric Mart yesterday and today was from the Fabric Mart. And I think the, the um, if I added the pockets, it would have just made it look wrinkly and a little bunchy around the hip. So I didn't add the pockets. So that's basically it. I absolutely love it. My first time ever doing a yoke, you can't even see it. Even if I'm gonna try to lightly turn around. Can you see it? You can barely, you can't even, you can't really see it. I'll show it in, in my wrap up of this video, but turned out absolutely beautiful. And the wrap dress is absolutely beautiful. Again, another one, wrap dress, I'm, I'm a, a big busted girl. Um, I'm not, right now, these here, this here is not going to go over like this. And quite frankly, I don't want my wraps this high up around my neck. I don't mind them being open like this. I just have to wear a tank underneath. That's it. So that is all. Stay tuned for tomorrow. By now, you already know what the third day wrap dress is going to be. So tune in and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, everybody, it is May 31st, the third and final day of my wrap dress and the final day of me made um, May. And so I am coming in today with the Appleton. It, I absolutely love it. It turned out perfect in this fabric. Um, I've done a review, a slight review before, so I'll just kind of it's pretty much the same. However, the big difference is if you all remember, and if I can find the picture, if I didn't delete it, I'll show you what my first Appleton looked like. I end up donating it because the neck, for whatever reason, it was, I had to take it in and something up here just wasn't fitting right. And then the wrap, it didn't wrap. And yeah, so that was all user error, as you can tell neckline everything fits perfectly the only thing <laughs> i did uh wrong was which is so funny um because i was like extra like paying attention to how i was laying out all the pattern pieces i actually laid the front two pieces out and actually that's probably where i, I messed up i think the first time i didn't pay attention to the the two front pieces needs to be cut separately, even though you were using the same piece, but you know, there's separate lines of cutting. I don't think I paid attention to that. And so I ended up cutting two of the same shorter pieces and that's why it didn't wrap. But anyway, this one wraps. Um, and so um, the thing that I did was make sure I cut them separately. But the thing I did, I goofed up <laughs> was I laid the pattern pieces because you know, wrap dresses, you lay them when you have the the front piece one pattern piece one way the other the other way I've laid them the opposite direction and so when I was going to sew them up it was the wrong side of the fabric showing and I was like oh okay so anyway I just sewed everything the opposite <laughs> to make sure that it was gonna face in the right direction. Um, however, that meant my closure piece is actually on the wrong side. So, but I mean, nobody will ever know that. You wouldn't even be able to tell. I told you, now you know, oh well. But just telling you, again, just for your own personal, just pay attention to how you laying out your pattern pieces is the moral of that story. Um, and so for me, I absolutely, um, love it. It turned out beautiful. I cut out the right pieces. So let me tell you what I cut out. I cut out a bust of 22 and remember cashmere comes in cup sizes. So for, um, the, the bust, it was a 22 EF is what I cut out. So cup size EF and then my waist and hip is the 26. And so perfect and again I'm just finding wrap dresses in the 
Same thing with the silver. I think the silver may have closed up a little bit more up at the top, but for the most part with wraps, I am going to be wearing a, a tank underneath. So that is it. I really don't have anything to say about this one. The Appleton took me three hours to sew up. No problems at all to sew it up. Um, it's really nice because the neck band come in three different pieces. So you really can if you find that you might have some gaping or anything. You can really adjust your pattern pieces for those parts and, um, you know, make whatever adjustments. But it was the three neck band pieces, the two front bodice pieces, the waist tie, the sleeves, of course, and then the back and that was it and so easy easy breezy it took me after everything was cut out three hours to sew it up and again just because i was taking my time i wasn't trying to rush so yeah that is it and so in the next clip you should be seeing me do a wrap up of my thoughts on these three wrap dress patterns and if there's anything in particular i would do differently all right thank you everybody for tuning in give this don't forget to give this videos a thumb up if you if you liked it and if you've tried these um any of these three wrap dress patterns please let me know down below your thoughts if you agree or whatever with the um assessments that i had for them but absolutely love it oh this fabric i, I know i said all of this in in my planning video but this fabric came from sass fabrics in arizona um it's an ity knit absolutely love the print so and i would have popped up a video somewhere along the line showing you how the dress looked all right everybody thank you so much stay tuned so the next part will be me just um showing you the a couple other things for each dress and then that's it all right everybody see you in the next okay clip. All right, so I had to make sure I had enough time to talk here. So as you saw, I did all of my uh, reviews and everything. A um, couple things I wanted to mention. I think I mentioned about the knit interfacing, the one that I used for the ones that call for interfacing, which was only the Samantha. Well, the Samantha doesn't call for interfacing, but I put interfacing in the collar. Um, but the uh, Claire Wrap does call for interfacing, and I use Pellin EK130 Easy Knit Interfacing for light to medium weight um, and fusible stabilizer. So that is the knit that I use. I've already done a full review on the um, smiley pattern. Nothing has changed. You know, I made the adjustments. I talked about that in my review. It, absolutely loved it the one the thing with the samantha is that it's a faux wrap and then you have the circle skirt at the bottom and so um that's that's the only thing that's really different love i love the way it turned out i love the way it fit and the adjustments that i made uh for the fit it looks absolutely beautiful um and you can share your thoughts down below the second one is the um <clears throat> is the uh uh pat let's let me show it to you just in case I forget to put up a picture. It is the Claire Pat Pattern Reviews Claire Wrap Dress. And I did view B, which is kind of the A-line and then the full wrap with the ties. And I added the collar. And I did short sleeve or quarter length sleeves on this one. And so the thing that you could not see on that one was the yoke. So I wanted to make sure I showed you that. Um, like I told you, I just went for it and it turned out beautiful. You can't really see it from the back. A little bit you can, but um, it turned out beautiful. And I laid the pattern pieces in the way that um, I wanted the black part of the pattern print to go down the front. And I wanted everywhere else to have the, the print on it. And so it came out perfect came out perfect um and so and like i said this pattern had a lot of pattern pieces <laughs> to it but i labeled everything and yeah i really do love that feature of the yoke it is that is a really nice feature i do love that on the pattern and then of course rounding it out with the cashmere red appleton you all remember the first time i did it i should have popped up that picture there um it did not turn out right and that was all on, on me this time I was very diligent about how I was cutting it out and aside from kind of flip-flopping the pattern pieces it came out absolutely perfect fit fit perfect around the neck and everything fit top stitched um, you can't really tell 
I did top stitch around, serged. Um, I just, all the hems on all of these and the, um, for the uh, sleeves and for the bottom, I just surged and then turned it under and did a, a zigzag stitch, which you can't see. You won't be able to see that on any of these. <laughs> but um, yes, absolutely love, 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 love. And so <clears throat> I was asked on, on my pictures, a couple of places I posted it, which one did I like the best? And it's very hard to say. I... For comparison's sake, I'm going to take the smiley pattern out of the equation only because it's not a true wrap. This is a faux wrap. And so if I was going to do a faux wrap comparison, I would um, include the Samantha in that, in that group of conversation. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to concentrate on the uh, true full wraps, which is the Appleton by Cashmerette, which you already know, Cashmerette does individual cup sizes all the way up to a GH. And I already told you the cup sizes and, and, and the pattern pieces. What I do love about all three of these, they the measurements fit my measurements. So for um, for uh, for all of them, I'm able to grade in between sizes. And I I told you the sizes that I cut for these, so I won't go back over that. So which one between these two what i it is very hard to say because there are features in both of these i absolutely love the thing i love about the appleton is that the neck band comes in three different pieces so that it lays beautifully around your neck and um and if for whatever reason you needed to make adjustments or whatever you can because that peak though that neck band piece is in three different places now it's a little tricky in laying that pattern piece out and making sure you do it right i think that's where i messed up the first time but once you uh just go slowly and lay those pattern pieces out it would um it will work out fine now the the um what i love about the pattern review um is it has the collar now those are just two different features i like the collar and i like this neckband so i can't say which one i like the best because i like them both um the other thing that i like better in this one is the yoke piece i absolutely love the yoke piece in this it just gives it such a pretty nice like from the collar as you can tell all the way down it just gives it a nice clean look right um not that this look isn't good but i mean if i think this might be um just a little bit of a upgrade maybe on the professional end uh for this type of uh knit uh wrap dress with the yoke now the other thing is the I, I, yeah, I can't pick a favorite, but what I will say is the pattern review Claire wrapped over further to the left and to the right than the Appleton. The Appleton stops. It doesn't go all as far over um, underneath or on top. If I were to show here, because obviously I'm not going to show on the screen, the underneath part probably went to about right here. And as you can tell, the top part will go right here. For me, personally, I would love for my top to go all the way to the side and my underneath to go all the way to the side. Just so we don't have any, <laughs> no issues with if you sit in the wrong way or the wind blowing a different direction, <laughs> you won't have any exposure. So... That's probably the only thing. And even although the Claire wrap wrapped a little bit more, it still didn't go from hip to hip. And so, um, yeah, that is, yeah, that's it. That, But I, I love them all for their own, I mean, the fit, really, I, I, yeah, I can't pick a favor. I, I'm not, I can't even, I can't pick a favor between the, um, I will say for time's sake, which one would I sew sooner than the other? It would probably be the Appleton. Just because it's easier to cut out. It's just a few pieces. Um, you have way more pieces with the um, with the clear wrap. And yeah, that's, that's probably it. Um, but yeah, that is my review. I have nothing else. 
um, if you have any questions, any thoughts, any comments, leave them down below. If you tried them, let me know what you think. If you have one, tell me which one you liked <laughs> on me or the ones that I made out of the three uh, for this month. So yeah, that is that. That's all I've got. Thank you for tuning in to this longer video. I greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'm looking around making sure I don't forget anything, but I don't think I have. So if you have any questions, please let me know. But thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you in the next video. Bye.